Congratulations for you. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. As you guys have seen by the title of today's video, I will be doing a Mother's Day gift guide video because Mother's Day is actually on the 14th of March this year, and which is quite soon to be honest. So I thought that I would make a gift guide to maybe help you find some ideas if you're struggling to buy for your mum because I do find it hard sometimes and I do rely on these videos to give me some ideas and everything. But before we get into this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, a comment down below and please also subscribe. I would love to get to my goal of 4,000 subscribers by the end of April. So if you guys could all subscribe to my channel, it would really mean the world. But without further ado, let's go on the video. So my first gift idea is like it's usually a typical type of present, but it is a bunch of flowers. A lot of mothers will absolutely love to receive some flowers for Mother's Day because it's just so pretty. I do actually have some from... The Valentine's Day and I absolutely adore them, they're so pretty. There's some good places to get them. He's from a florist, online places such as Bloom and Wild and I think uh, Moonpig actually sells some really nice ones as well and also some supermarket the flowers are really nice as well you know I like the very pretty. So flowers is usually like a typical present but they're always really thoughtful and really nice a present to receive on Mother's Day. So my next gift idea is actually some perfumes because perfume is a, like a typical woman type of present. I like to smell good. A lot of other people will love to smell good and some favourites of mine that I, I highly recommend is Scandal A Paris Perfume by John Paul. This perfume is like a lovely sweetie like floral scent and oh my god it's so pretty and the packaging is adorable and it's a reasonable price. I think it's around like £50. It's not too bad for perfume but this one is adorable and it smells so good and also the YSL Libra perfume how about it's on holiday and it is the most like like it's like a holiday like perfume scent but smells like so grown up and classy as well and the packaging again is absolutely stunning like oh my god I love the gold detail on it so these perfumes I highly recommend like if you want to look for a new perfume for you want to try this one is a bit more pricier but like Oh my god, it is beautiful. So yeah, these two perfumes are beautiful and smell so good as well for your mother. Another gift idea is some Yankee candles because they last a lifetime and they smell good. And if your mum loves candles, oh my god, she will absolutely love these. Um, so firstly, I do have the Sugar Blossom a Large Candle. Um, this one smells of like alien perfume. So, oh, first thing, oh my god, it smells amazing, like it smells amazing, oh my god, I love it so much. If your mum likes the smell of alien, I recommend this, and this is from Asda for like £15 or something like that, it smells so good, and then they also do have the cherry and vanilla candle in the medium sized one, oh my god, like it smells of cherries and it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, Yankee candles often do have like a burning time of like the 50 hours plus for these ones and it's all worth the money and they do last a very long time as well so like if your mum is into her candles and everything and they want the house to smell nice these are a really good gift idea and they're very very super affordable as well so yeah I love these candles so much and I want to build a little collection of them because they are beautiful. So next up I do have some soap and chlory. Soap and Glory they do the best smelling like body butters, shower gels, like heel balms, hand food, what else do they do? Bath bombs, face masks, absolutely anything. They win it. So like if your mum is into smelling nice and she loves a bit of Soap and Glory or body butters or body scrubs or whatever, you name it, I recommend to either buy her a Soap and Glory set or some shower gels. The Clean On Me scent it's the classical like pinky soap and glory scent and oh my god it smells so good and these ones last for ages as well I actually have a couple of these like in my bathroom at the minute and oh my god I think I've had them for like almost half a year and they do last a very long long time but yeah um, soap and glory is probably more of a typical Mother's Day present but like you can't go wrong really because it smells so good and the really good quality stuff as well and next up I do have a bit more I have a typical Mother's Day present, but it is a Mother's Day mug. If your mum is into a, like a teas or coffees or hot chocolates, a Mother's Day mug will probably make them smile. I know that I have bought my mum some mugs in the past and she absolutely loves using them still to this day. She loves them. So yeah, I feel as if a mug for Mother's Day 
and it's typical for us in, but so thoughtful and really useful as well as it will last a long long time another gift idea is a makeup bag so if your mum is into wearing makeup or has a lot of skincare and she doesn't really have anywhere to store it like a makeup bag is super handy it keeps it all in one place and um, you won't be losing any makeup or makeup brushes anywhere here i have a louis vuitton pouch 26 one and oh my god like it fits all my makeup in perfectly so spacious inside i love the quality of this as well um i do have a few stains of makeup in there but a good few other brands of makeup bags is ted baker i've been using ted baker for probably like four years and they are so spacious inside very affordable as well and a lot of other places will sell a lot of makeup bags as well so if you want to splash your cash you could go for like a designer one or you could go for like a unbranded one but yeah a makeup bag is really useful for storing makeup in and keeping it all in one place because no one ever likes having a lot of makeup like all laid out on the dressing table like all messy like who wants that so yeah here's a good idea and speaking of makeup if your mum is a bit of a makeup fanatic like myself I recommend to buy some makeup. It's always needed if you love makeup. So here, I do have a few things. I do have the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Primer. This primer is so good um, for priming your face and making foundation to stay on your face all day. And covering up a lot of the oily skin on your face. So like, if someone does have like oily skin, it's a good primer to go for. And Too Faced makeup always do the best makeup as well, like really good quality. And then here is the Too Faced Bonds Way foundation. For this foundation is medium to high coverage and they do so many shades. I think they might do like 30 shades, probably more. The coverage of this foundation is really good and if your mum is wanting a higher coverage foundation, it's a good one to go for because Too Faced foundations and makeup all together, again, amazing. And then I do have a um, decay bronzer because everyone needs a bronzer in the makeup bag and if your mum is maybe after a new bronzer to go for like an Urban Decay one. These ones are really affordable and smell um, of a beach holiday as well, like so good. Oh my god, and the colour is so pretty as well. So that one. And then finally for makeup, I do have a benefit dandelion blusher because I do know that a lot of old people are into wearing blusher a lot, aren't they? So this is like a benefit who one smells so nice. And like it actually smells of like flowers. It's a lovely blush pinky colour and it's really pretty on top of your makeup so yes so makeup is always a good option if your mum is into wearing makeup because it'll make them smile again and uh, makeup is quite expensive as well so like it's, it's a good thing to get for presents if you know what I mean so yeah another gift idea is a clean hamper because if your mum like is into cleaning the house and she loves like fabulosa and sephora and all them why don't you get her a box and put a lot of cleaning products in it. Um, so cleaning sponges, cleaning gloves, so flora, sprays, Fabulosa because Fabulosa is so in trend at the minute and oh my god it smells so good. Like carpet sprays, what else is there? Window sprays, room sprays, you, you know what I mean? I received a cleaning hamper for my birthday or Christmas or something and I absolutely loved it. So I'm sure if you bought your mum a clean hamper they made one up and made it they look really good i am sure she will absolutely love it so much so a clean hamper is a good option to buy from other day because like yeah it'll be really useful and another gift idea is a pair of shoes so like if you've noticed your mum needs like a new pair of trainers or some work shoes or something why don't you buy her some because like her shoes are always really useful and handy to have obviously as you need them to walk out the house and and wear out and about obviously. Um, so like a good place for trainers is JD. Where else is there? ASOS is a good place actually. Uh, Foot Asylum, where else? Um, like a lot of other places online as well. So yes, like a pair of shoes is always a good idea for gift ideas as well. Another gift idea is some jewellery. So like if your mum is into wearing her jewellery and wants to look nice with some jewellery on, why don't you buy her like a pair of earrings, a necklace, a bracelet? It could be a Pandora charm, a Pandora bracelet, some rings, some Tiffany earrings, a Tiffany necklace because I absolutely love mine. I got mine for my birthday and I wear it almost every day. And what other brands are there? Joma jewellery, Dior, if you really want to splash the cash on your mother this year. What else is there? All sorts of other designer brands for jewellery but um, it's always a very common present but 
so thoughtful and so lovely to receive for Mother's Day. Another gift idea is skincare sets. So like if your mum is into looking after her skin and wants to look good, skincare sets are the way to go because like sometimes skincare can be so expensive to buy for yourself so like if you buy a set it'll be like a nice gift to buy them. Some good places to get them from is Glossify, Kylie Skin, Charlotte Tilbury and Revolution Skin as well. Um, and Mario Badescu as well and pretty much anywhere really. Our skincare is very pricey these days and it can make a hole in your pocket if you just want to buy it for yourself but if you receive it as a gift it'll be nicer. Um, so yeah and skincare it's very important as well. And final gift idea is a Lush gift set because Lush does do some of the best bath stuff in the whole entire world like bath bombs, bubble bars, shower gels, soaps, shower bombs, you name it, they do everything. And it's all cruelty free as well so like if your mum, if she loves her smellies, she loves her bath bombs, like you know what I mean, she will absolutely love to receive some Lush for Mother's Day and oh my god I went on Lush the other day and they do some of the prettiest gift sets ever. Um, some bath bombs, some mini shower gels, like some like face masks I think in there and some soap bars. So like if your mum she loves a Lush, he's a, like a good one to go for because I know that it is quite expensive to buy for yourself as well. So like it's like it'd be lovely to receive as a little gift for Mother's Day. But anyway guys, here is the end of my Mother's Day gift guide video. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If it has been useful to you guys please make sure to leave a thumbs up, a comment down below and also please subscribe to my channel because it's free and I'd love to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of April so let's make that happen. But yeah, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye everybody!